size of hail. Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name's Elle. Thank you so much for taking the time to be here with me today, exactly as you are. And thank you so much for giving me the space to be here today, exactly as I am. This is kind of just like a simple self-care, like Sunday. Also on my menstrual cycle, because I started my moon this morning and feeling crampy bloated just overall don't have a whole lot of energy which is a-okay the first day of my cycle is always the worst i took a nice long hot shower which felt super nice on like my cramping abdomen I do think that I am going to start reading On Earth Very Briefly Gorgeous by Ocean Vyong. I do know that the overall basis of this story is basically it's just an open letter to Ocean's mom and Ocean's mom doesn't speak English and this letter is written in English and it is just about I believe him growing up as a gay person as well as just kind of like navigating life and I've just heard so many good things about this like whenever I picked it up the first time like I really liked it but this is my first non-fiction book in such a long time that I wanted to take it slow and then I ended up kind of just abandoning it because there were other books primarily fiction that I wanted to read a bit more but it is 2022 the year of self-love the year of healing the year of just amazing things so why not kick it off in like the right start with like a nice little non-fiction because my one of my like intentions for this year is to read more non-fiction because I diversified my literature last year, but I did not read, like, any nonfiction. Just a little reading update for you all. I'm just a few, yeah, I'm on page 101 of On Earth More Briefly Gorgeous, and I'm really liking it so far. If you can't tell, I did indeed change my tabs to purple, and I just want to go ahead and just read like a few of the things that I underlined. Like, 
for how can there be a private space if there's no safe space? And then this one, I'm not a monster, I'm a mother. You're not a monster, I said, but I lied. What I really wanted to say was that a monster is not such a terrible thing to be. To be a monster is to be a hybrid signal, a lighthouse, both shelter and warning at once. There are just some incredibly powerful lines in this story and also reading this as someone who doesn't have the best relationship with my mother like it's definitely hitting in some ways which is I think the whole reason why I put it down at first to begin with it is currently 6 38 almost seven o'clock and I am such like a person that like I wind down for the night about this time like <laughs> I'm like okay time to get ready for bed so I started my cycle today but what I find rather odd is yesterday like randomly out of the blue I was like I should get a pe like a period tracker app and I didn't end up downloading one because all the ones that I downloaded you had to pay for and I don't want to do that. But yeah, I just thought that that was interesting. I don't believe in coincidences, but I just thought that was a fun little synchronicity.